Exactly, says Barry. He hands you the clamshell box with all of the dust. You mentioned that you had seen it in some kind of arrangement before? Yes, um, in a circle arrangement. Um, and apparently when it's arranged in a circle like that, when there is enough of it, and when there is like an activation to it, it turns into a portal. I actually saw that at the at the zoo. Um, it was a portal, but then it got broken, basically. So it has to be an unbroken circle. As an artificer, he has an area of his floor that is clear and available to draw magic circles upon. He gestures to you towards it and says, Would you like to try? Uh, I'm gonna look at everyone else and say, Would anyone else like to try? Would you like to do it all together? Sure. Well, I'm down. Yeah, for some reason, I, I feel like skipping in a circle and like just pouring it down in a circle is so- sounds like a fun way to do it. So, yeah, let's let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> do we all skip merrily in a circle? <laughs> Stella will. <laughs> <laughs> Cosmos will. Oh, sure. Before before any arcane experiments, it's important to follow safety procedures. Everyone, take some safety goggles. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, Stella already has her sunglasses. <laughs> She puts and Cosmos on. has the mask, so it covers the eyes as well. Well, all right. Apparently only Sinclair is the one that uh, cares about laboratory safety. <laughs> as we pr- proceed to skip, like, flower girls <laughs> and dance merrily in a circle. Around zombie dust. Around zombie dust, yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs>